I'm going to get straight into the video for you guys. Actually, first of all, have you subscribed? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, back into the video. So. Follow my socials and if you feel the vibe, join T for the ride. Hello guys, I hope you're all well. You're here today with your girl, it's T Leone. And you're here today for T Talks. Now, if you're new here, I want to say hello and welcome to my channel. But if you're already part of the T team, then I want to say welcome back T team. But in order to be part of T team, then you will need to like, you'll need to comment, subscribe share and also make sure you turn on the post notification bell below this video so that you never miss an upload with myself and you're always notified when i do post of which my posts are usually on a tuesday for tea tuesday and also upon a thursday like today for tea talks if you have already been subscribed to me then you would know that previously upon my other tea talks i have been exploring the mind and within the mind i've been exploring reading of which i've been doing reviews upon the books of which have affected me and have really impacted my life for the better in regards to financial and also mental aspects and today I thought it would be very prominent of me to complete that with Sarah Knight's The Life Changing Magic of Not Giving a Bleep of which would be my five top books that have impacted my life and that can change yours as well. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. But also guys, if you haven't already seen those videos, you can go and check those out. And as you can see here in the drop down menu, they'll be right there, right up there, just, 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 just there. And you can go and check those out. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into the video for you guys. Actually, first of all, have you subscribed? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, back into the video. So, the book that I'm going to get into for you is by the name of The Life Changing Magic of Not Giving a Bleep, of which I said is by Sarah Knight. And this book has honestly, it I just can't even deal. I just feel like I can relate to it so much in regards to the fact that you take on so much, and sometimes you feel like your mind is so cluttered and clutter mind is not a good one as i said in my previous videos it gets you in a state of anxiety and you feel as though you can't really focus on one thing because there's so many things within your mind and that is where you need to do mental decluttering now this book was by the author like i say sarah knight and she initially was a big time editor and she was working for like i say an editing company yes she would have had all of these business meetings and etc etc having to attend people's parties or baby showers and things like that and then she realized that she was very unhappy even though she did have access to all of the enriching parts of her job that a normal person that may fulfill them it didn't fulfill her in the same way and she still felt like she was missing something you know it got to a point where she was very anxious she got into a state of sort of depression where she felt like it just really wasn't enough and she was unhappy. And then she realized that there were so many things impacting that, but the main thing was her job. She was working to make this money. Even though it was a lot of money, it was a liability to her. She was working there for about 15 years, climbing the corporate ladder. And then she decided that she was going to quit because she was unhappy with the way that she felt within herself mentally and the overkill that it had on her. Then shortly after, she worked upon herself and she got herself to the state where she thought would make me happy. How on earth could I get from this and grow and evolve and reach the destination where I feel as though I have now fulfilled my endeavor, of which was her being able to run her own business and be taking long walks upon the beach and enjoying herself in a bikini. She went from wearing all of these corporate sorts of clothing to that, to living a lavish lifestyle in an island where she could enjoy herself. And that is something that we all wish of. And that was because she focused her time, energy, and her money 
into something that did fulfill her and that is why she ended up where she is now. One of the main principles within this book of which I love is in regards to having a bleep budget and this is where as you can probably see it's quite self-explanatory but I'm going to tell you anyway of course. This is where you would ensure to list all of the things and the aspects of your life of which you care about, of which you actually give a feeling about and have those emotions you want to know. You, you, you care about them. They're all of the things that you would list. So for example, for me, music, trading, working out, reading, all of these different things, they're things that I love to do and that I see myself fulfilling. They're all of the things that would be within my budget. And I'd be like, okay, those are the things that I focus my time, energy, and money upon. However, for example, I don't really care for TV. So I'm not going to sit downstairs and probably watch EastEnders because frankly, I don't care what's happening in their lives. They're actors and they're making their money. Why am I watching them make their money? Because Peggy Mitchell is not really standing in a pub that's run down she's actually in her lavish home and these are all of the things that we need to take into account and realize am i actually enjoying what i'm doing and that is why you create that budget and say to yourself okay these are the things that i actually care about and really create a priority list and this is basically yes working out your priorities and things that you don't care for and distinguishing that and actually coming to the realization of things that are very crucial within your life. And then the other list of which you would then allocate to is in regards to a not sorry method. Now this is where, again self-explanatory, you would then write down a list of all of the things that you don't really care for and that you just aren't thinking to indulge your time, energy or your money to. Because if you don't want to allocate that towards it then don't. You, you just you just responsibly say no. And the way in which you do this, and the reason for why it's called the not sorry, is because you're not being harsh about it, you're not being rude, you're saying politely, you know, I don't want to do this, I don't care for it, and I'm not going to care for it. And that is it. And you're not sorry about it, because why should you be sorry? You shouldn't feel like you're obligated. And this is something that we all usually feel, we are obligated. Like say, for example, you may have a, a work event there's certain things you have to do for work so you can list those down but then there's also going to come those aspects of which aren't really relevant and that you don't have to necessarily attend they're not things that are compulsory for example a work party things like that that you don't really care for and that all you have to say is I'd kindly like to decline, I don't want to attend, you know, I don't really need to justify myself because at the end of the day, you don't want to be spending time with people that you, you just work with and that you're just working with for the money. That is all. And from there, you don't really associate with them. There's no point you spending even more time around them when you don't feel as though you're investing that time willingly and genuinely. You just say, no, that's it. I'm not going to do this anymore. You start then writing those things down and then when you realise, okay, this is not what I want to be focusing my time, energy or money upon, you cross it out and that's it. It's eradicated, it's gone. You don't need to focus anything upon it. If it's not on that paper for you to then focus upon, it's gone, it's erased. And that is one of the main things that I have taken from the book is that we all need to stop feeling as though we are obligated to do certain things and we need to focus upon what really makes us happy and prioritise those things rather than things that we feel as though we're guilty and that we have to fulfil for others. If it isn't satisfying you in any way then you should not fulfil that and you should focus upon yourself and what really drives you and focus upon our assets of which she did herself. And this is where it relates back to Robert Kiyosaki's book in regards to personal finance and the fact that within regards to your mindset, your mindset is the most powerful thing. And when there are things cluttering that and you're feeling obligated to do certain things, you're going to then steer away from the ultimate goal, the desire that you have, the potential that you have. And those are your assets. 
those are your assets guys that is one of the main things that i want you to take away from today and to ensure that you do engrave that within your everyday life that you now research in regards to personal finance if you haven't before and focus on those different ways that you can create passive income streams for yourself and you know just really grow as a person i think that's so 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 important maybe even create your own budget planner and incorporate that into your daily life but there are so many ways that we can grow guys and develop and this is one of the main ways guys, so that is a rough summary now i don't want to dwell into it too much because of course you need to go and read it yourselves it's such an amazing book the links will be down below in the description box of which you can then purchase them now it is the end of the video and i thought it would be very vital for me to leave you with a quote of which can linger upon your mind all day okay so here it is Obligations can be the destroyer of our aspirations and assets of which we aspire to invest in. Don't waste your time, money or energy upon things that don't generate the outcome or income you're interested in. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it all the way to the end, then please make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications as I said before so you do not ever, 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 ever miss an upload with myself as next week I will have an amazing cover for you guys for Tea Tuesday so make sure you stay tuned but yes guys I really, really appreciate each and every one of you I really hope you stay well and that you are blessed and please, please, please enjoy the rest of your day Okay guys, because I'm only a tea away, so now it is tea out!